Hi guys, welcome back to Didsbury Art Studio. I'm Sally, if you've not met me before, and today we are going to be doing some Sharpie art. Um, this is one I've been messing around on just this last week, um, and you can see the effects that it produces. Um, and it's literally just the Sharpies, and as you know, I'm a bit of a Sharpie fan. So you're just using the Sharpie pens onto the T-shirt, and then you're going in with some rubbing alcohol. I've got my t-shirt set up. I've put some cardboard inside the t-shirt so that the um, pictures and the images don't transfer down to the other side of your fabric. I really like, in fact, if I just pull this down here, you'll be able to see a little bit more of it. But you can see, you can get sort of all different shapes and, and sizes of the kind of circular images what happens is you put the dots onto the fabrics um, and then obviously the rubbing alcohol just sort of moves and transfers the design and seeps into the fabric. So I'm going to do a new one on the t-shirt to share with you the sort of technique. And then I'm also going to do um, these tiles. Now these tiles we already had um, here in the house. Um, and I've got a couple more spare ones that I want to do. So to begin with, you need to think about your t-shirt and the layout and you need to think, you know, do you want random sections all over the t-shirt? Do you want it just on the sleeves? Do you want it around the neckline? Do you want it as a border at the bottom? Do you want it to one side? Do you want it just on the back or on both the front and the back? Um, I'm just going to go do it on the front. You do need to think about the colour scheme, obviously, but you just need to look at the colours that you want to use. Now you can get a colour wheel online, just have a look at one of those and just see the sorts of colours that go well with one another. Um, I've kind of, you know, combined some of the sort of warmer colours with the cooler colours. Um, and so just walking you through this one that I've already done, you see lots of different sizes. Um, it depends on sort of how big you do the original shape and then how many drops of the rubbing alcohol that you drop onto it. If you want a smaller um, piece, you need to keep your design quite small and then just drop a couple of um, rubbing alcohol onto it. If you do lots of different droplets, obviously it's going to make your design a lot more pale, uh, a little bit like that one and it's also going to spread out a lot more. So it depends on what effect you want. You can see I've put a couple of different colours in that one. I quite liked it on the actual collar bit there. And then this one, obviously I've put quite a big design to start off with and then lots of the rubbing alcohol onto it. So you just need to think about what collections of colours go well and what sort of effect you're looking for. I mean, that one there, that one's gorgeous, I love that one. With the blues and the purples. So you can start with like a white area in the middle and then drop your alcohols into the center and it will just transfer the color around the white section and leave a white spot in the middle. You see I've had a go at some other shapes there, some triangles, I've drawn out an eye down there just to see what the eyelashes came out like. Got a star and then that's just obviously one color. There, I've got a bit of a spiral. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little play around with what we can do. So you do need to make sure that your t-shirt is as stretched out as possible with your um, cardboard underneath. Now just to show you, okay, so if you're just sticking with one color, I'm gonna start just around the neckline here and I'm just gonna make sure that my circles, my dots are really, quite thick and big circle like so and then you get your rubbing alcohol with the rubbing alcohol like so and then put a paper towel just nearby underneath and then really carefully I'm just going to drop the rubbing alcohol one two I'm just going to do four of sizes. So that's exactly what you do. Now you could introduce um, another colour. So let's do that. So let's go with triangle kind of this time. 
that and then I'm going to put a darker blue in between some of the gaps there. I might actually just put a little mini circle in the middle. There we go. And, uh, so. Okay, so I did about eight there, eight drops. But you can experiment and explore and just see sort of what different sizes um, you want those circles to come out like. As I showed you before, that you don't necessarily need to do it as little circles. It could be other shapes and designs. So I'm just going to go top for it. area. Um, what I've tried to explore is using lots of different colours. I've combined two colours to three colours. I've done different spirals, different shapes. Um, varied the length of the dots, made thick dots, thinner dots, left circles empty um, and I've sort of tried to link the design down through to the sleeve over here and I've overlapped some of the shapes. I've kept some full shapes as you can see over here rather than the dots so we could even do a couple more of those just to see what those come out like. Um, and literally, I'd only really just stopped there because I decided that I was going to just put a little bit of the alcohol on just to show you the process and then continue doing the other half, drawing the other half out so that it, I can leave it to dry and maybe do some of the tiles. But literally, this is the process that I've been doing. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do then is just add the alcohol and I'll just show you what that looks like. So literally just start dropping over the top like so. And I'm just going to carry on with the time lapse and you'll be able to see how this develops. So I've just turned the t-shirt around on its side so you can see that it's really quite concentrated at the top which I like and then obviously I haven't done anything at the bottom here so I'm going to just diffuse it a little bit by just adding a little um, a few more shapes and designs down here. Okay guys, so this is the um, tile piece that I said about. It's the same process, um, however you're going to cover the whole tile in whichever kind of design you would like. So you can even put the colour down the sides if you wanted it to be just that little bit more finished off and do some nice thick solid colour. I'm not particularly doing um, a design because once you add the alcohol it will completely smash your colour, your design. So um, literally I'm just going to cover that. So literally, guys, um, you just drop on here your alcohol. And there's a couple of things you can do. You can blow the actual alcohol around with a straw. Or you can pick up the tile and start moving the alcohol around on your tile which is really quite nice. Just 
I'll try and get that area like so. And you can just leave that to dry and it will set and then we can go in with a little bit more. So that's literally how it's come out guys and I don't even want to add any more alcohol to it because I'm really happy with how it is. Um, so that's literally just with the pipette but you do lose some colour as you can see. Obviously it makes it a little bit more pale. Just one more to show you, I've just filled this one up as well in exactly the same way and you can also spray the alcohol on, I've just put it in a little bottle and you can just see how that goes as well. And you might like that effect, um, so you can just leave that to dry. It just dries quite speckled. A little bit's gone on there now, but that's quite nice too. Um, and then, as I showed you before, some of the other ones that I'd already done was this one, um, which was with the pipette, and that one as well, which again was with the pipette. So they just come out really nicely. Now, some people do smaller tiles, which is fine. You can get those from any hardware stores and you can make little coasters. Completely up to you. guys i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did then please subscribe it'd be great if you could write um, a comment and just give me some feedback and uh, hope you enjoyed this one it's really bright and colorful t-shirt i'll definitely wear it and i'll probably put some of the tiles that i've done in the art room so until next tuesday and maybe if i get another video done in between with some drawing then i will see you soon take care Bye.